Galaxy fabric. So when I started getting into this whole Galaxy kit, the kick, the first thing I decided I was going to do, I wonder if I could do this on fabric. And then I decided right away, hmm, it'd be easier to do it on dark fabric than light fabric. So I went out to the fabric store and I got some black denim. This is a half of a yard of black denim and I'm just crunching it up into a plastic bin. Um, please make sure you wear plastic gloves, that you're in a well ventilated area and that you have an apron on and that you maybe have eye protection on. This is not a the part of the project that you should do with kids, not by any stretch of the imagination, you're working with bleach. All right, so these are bleach gel pens, which I love, and when I'm working with bleach in our, on fabric, they are my preference. Um, it does make me wheeze, so I was medicated and in a well ventilated area because, hello, asthma. Um, anyway, so I put some on, squish it around, move the fabric around, refold it, put some more bleach on there, squish it around, move it around, let it sit for a, about a half an hour to an hour, depending on how much you want it to be bleached, then wash it and dry it, and then we're back. Now I've got my So Soft, Deco Art So Soft fabric paints in a variety of blues, pinks, purples, and white, and we are going to paint a galaxy on our fabric. I will list a um, uh, the selection of paint colors I have in the description below. We're going to use the bleach designs and swirls here that you see in the fabric as our suggestion of where we should put the paints. I start with the lightest blue and a stenciling or stippling brush and I scrub the f uh, colors in from the lightest to the darkest and I occasionally dip my brush in water and blot it off on a rag and then continue scrubbing and that helps me thin out and blend the paints a little bit better. You want your finished fabric, if you plan on washing it, to be a little bit brighter than you want the finished product to be because when you do wash this fabric paint, it will fade a slight bit. So keeping that in mind, you want to continue painting this swirly, foggy, sort of nebula-like background to your galaxy. I don't want to cover up all of the bleach designs because I'm going to use them and incorporate them into the finished piece to help me suggest my galaxy background. I'm going to alternate between colors. I'm not cleaning my brush off, really. I have two brushes. One is mainly for the lighter colors and one is for the darker colors. One's a little bigger than the other, so one, you know, I can get more scrubbing space in. This is a really big piece of fabric. It's only a half of a yard wide, a few inches wide, but it's like 45 inches long. And I do do the whole piece of fabric, although I've sped it up here for you guys a lot. I usually use a selection of blues and purples and with a touch of pink to give it a pop. I really like that colorway, but please feel free to use whatever color scheme that you are attracted to. If you're into greens, maybe do greens and yellows with maybe a touch of blue. That's a really pretty color way to do this with. Um, have some fun with it. You're probably going to want to have five or six colors. So here I am continuing down. I'm a little farther down the fabric. I'm continuing my scrubbing and blending process. I'm not even trying to cover up all of the bleach. Uh, I'm using it and incorporating it and I am also not trying to cover up the black because when you see galaxy paintings, there's a lot of blackness in the background. It's the galaxy. There's no sunlight. Um, <coughs> or at least there doesn't seem to be. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So here we go. We're continuing the scrubbing process and I'm layering my colors. And, you know, I put the light to dark colors on. And then if I think it needs more of something, I go back and add something else. And I keep adding my layers and scrubbing and swirling and blending until I've got something that I really, really am happy with to use as the background for the next step, which is painting the stars in. And it's nice to do a big piece of fabric like this because then you can um, have it, you know, in your stash of stuff. Maybe you just use a small piece of it initially to make something with, but then you've got the fabric in the future down the line to do other things with. And I never plan on washing this, so for me it wasn't an issue. It wasn't going to be a garment or anything. It's going to be um, a cover for something, which you'll see in a different video. It's a different video. I'll link that video in the description below what I do with this fabric. 
and you can kind of see there on the right where I've added, I, you can see a little sneak peek of adding the um, stars into the background, which we haven't quite gotten to yet, but I, I do complete like one section of the fabric in its entirety, and then I go to the next piece, because like I said, it was just, it's a huge piece of fabric. And I take, I'm taking out different sizes of brush and blending and adding colors. And if I think I've gotten something too dark, then I add more light. Now here I've gotten some of the white paint and I have different brush and I'm just splattering it on. It's watered down and I'm literally just splattering on it on the paint, just throwing it out at the, at the fabric. And then I'm taking some of these splatters and some more of the paint and some water and I'm blending some of them out a little bit to create a foggy misty effect to our galaxy background. I'm not doing it with all of them because I want to leave some of them. They're supposed to be stars and or planets or something, but I am adding some of them and I am, you know, adding some in where I didn't get any splatters if I think it needs it, like right there in that accidental circle pattern that I have there going on. You also don't have to do it with just um, white paint. So here I come in with some pink and I'm adding a little bit of pink and I'm with a very small brush. Um, and scrubbing it in just like I did with the white. So you can have some fun with it and don't worry about blending all of the marks out because you want to leave some of them that create interest to your finished piece. And some of it's going to blend with the base colors underneath because there's everything is very wet. That's okay. We are not worried about that at all. You're going to get an interesting effect. So just have fun with it in play and experiment yeah I've done this too before where I've taken and done it with the white and the pink or the white and the light blue so um, whatever you want to do you can also always come back in with some black if you've added too much color and taken away too much of the black you can come in with the black and scrub some black in there's me adding some more of that pink in and I'm just literally smudgy lines but it's adding a nice effect and really making it look like a nebula or you know galaxy kind of thing i don't know what to describe it i'm not an astronomer i'm a painter <laughs> but i like the way it looks i don't know what got me into this wild crazy galaxy thing but uh it's anyway it's a lot of fun and as you can see from my table the white splattery paint went everywhere because you know why should i get out my paint box um after i was done i did some more splattering and um added some more to it and there you go i hope you have fun with this and don't forget to go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and i'll see you later mm -hmm.